Today's video is titled, Drown Out the Noise We See. I'm actually going to be uh, reading scriptures that I've read and wrote about um, on August the 3rd of 2022. It's going to be in Mark chapter 5, verses 22 to 24, and then verses 35 to 43. Uh, Mark 5, chapter Chapter 5, verse 22, starts with, Then one of the synagogue leaders named Jairus came, and when he saw Jesus, he fell at his feet. He pleaded earnestly with him, My little daughter is dying. Please come and put your hands on her so that she will be healed and live. So Jesus went with him. Then in verses 35 to 43, this is when their uh, story picks back up. While Jesus was still speaking, some people came from the house of Jairus, the synagogue leader. Your daughter is dead, they said. Why bother the teacher anymore? Overhearing what they said, Jesus told him, don't be afraid, just believe. He did not let anyone follow him except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. When they came to the home of the synagogue leader, Jesus saw a commotion with people crying and wailing loudly. He went in and said to them, why all this commotion and wailing? The child is not dead, but asleep. But they laughed at him. After he put them all out, <laughs> he took the child's father and mother and the disciples who were with him and went in where the child was. He took her by the hand and said to her, Talitha Kohn, I think, which means little girl, I say to you, get up. Immediately, the girl stood up and began to walk around. She was 12 years old. At this very, oh, at this, they were completely astonished. He gave strict orders not to let anyone know about this and told them to give her something to eat. And then I wrote uh, in my journal that day, <coughs> excuse me, Jairus asks Jesus to come to his home and touch his daughter because she was sick. On his way there, the woman with the issue of blood touched his clothes and was healed. That's the part of the story that I, or part of that chapter that I did not read about, but it happened before Jesus could even make it to Jairus' home. Jairus was told before they got there that his daughter was dead. Jesus told him not to be afraid, just believe. When they arrived, Jesus allowed only the girl's parents, James, Peter, and John, to enter the girl's room. He took her by the hand and told her to get up, and she did. Sometimes life requires us to drown out the noise that we see. Not the noise that we hear, but the noise that we see. Our circumstances may look one way. People may line up and say what our own circumstances are showing us, but God is telling us not to fear, just believe. Believe that he has the final say, no matter how things look, and act on what you believe. 